He says in 1 Peter, he says, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. <laughs> all of them. Not just a few. We want to depend, we want to depend sometimes and cast our cares upon other people or other things and depend on everything else rather than depending on God. Now God, I'm depending on you, but here's the way you ought to do it. Here's the way you ought to do it. So we, we learn that nearness. We learn that nearness by, by just trusting Him. And we learn to that joy. As I said a moment ago, there's those who lose that joy of their salvation. We, we find the joy of salvation in repentance and confession. David said, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, thy holy with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners will be converted unto thee. So we find that joy again when we confess and then when we repent of our sins. Oh, but repenting is just for the unsaved. No, it isn't. Repenting is for you and I. We need to learn to repent. Lord, I'm sorry. I am sorry. All oh, but love means never having to say I'm sorry.
and then <laughs> pattern our lives. You know, we, we know that Jesus is the only sinless person there was. We understand that. But he said, he, you know, he's a role model. There, there are people today who are say, I want to be a role model. And then next week, they're thrown in the slammer for something. You know, these they, athletes. I want to be a role model. They say, I want to kill three people. I don't count on the fourth one yet. <laughs> so are we, they become role models that are not very good. Miley Cyrus wanted to be a real role model. Duh. Wow. To our children. role model you have is the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right, amen. The greatest role model you have is Him. So we find those loftiness of ideas in the Bible and with our Lord Jesus Christ. We find the power of prayer, guess where? On our knees, yeah. And I realize that when it comes to prayer, we can pray, you've heard me say, we can pray on our knees, we can pray standing, we can pray upside down in the well, spitting quarters, it doesn't matter. But we find power when we really pray. Over in James chapter 4 and verse 2, tells us that, he says that you lust and have not, you kill and desire to have and cannot obtain, you fight and you war yet, you have not. Why? Because you ask not. What Paul is basically getting down to is saying, you don't pray. You don't pray. And he said, so we need to find power, and we'll get that power when we pray. And I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, Lord, and I need this today. I've got to have this. I've got to have that new car. And I'm talking about prayer. God, I want your will to be done. <clears throat> I can pray. Yeah, we pray for those that are unsaved. We pray for those who, who are sick and we need to. But Lord, we pray thanking you for what you've done in our lives. It's easy sometimes, isn't it? For us to... And, and sometimes I think we ought to do this sometimes. Each person ought to do this. Spend time just one day in our, and pray and asking God for something. I guarantee you, you'd pray a whole lot more there than you would thanking God. You know, I, I don't mean that in a bad way to still any folks. I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about other people. But <laughs> naturally, it's easier to pray and ask God for something, especially when we're down in the valley, when we're hurting. But you ever stop to say, Lord, I want to thank you even for the valley I'm in today. Lord, I want to thank you for the trials I've gone through today. Unless the saints are song, this trial can be a blessing. God, make these trials a blessing. So we find that there's going to be power when we truly, truly pray. I think that, and finally, we, we, we think that we, we, can find, we can find joy in Christian service by returning to God's work. What does he say in Matthew chapter 28? Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. When we're working, when we're doing God's work, and I'm not talking about church work. It's easy to do church work. I'm not talking about the work of the church. There's a different, you've heard me say that time and time again. That's different. Those two things are different. Church work and the work of the church. We can spend a lot of time doing church work, but we don't do the work of the church. That's where we're really truly blessed. That's when things get done. And so we need to return to returning to, to God's work and doing the things He would have us to do. As a child of God. Man, when that happens, you know, when that happens, there's going to be a, such a revival spirit in your soul and your heart. It's just like starting all over again. Man. Hmm. Aren't you glad that being a child of God and getting saved, you know, sometimes people say, man, I just wish I could live on that mountain and do like I was the first day I got saved, do it right now. Well, first thing is, God knew your body couldn't stand it. But let's face the facts. We were pretty eager, weren't we, when we first got saved? Doing things. And, and the thing about it is that I realize that even as we get older and people say, well, there's not a whole lot I can do anymore. God, but oh yeah, there is. Yes, there is. Man, you can you can pray and pray and pray and pray. You can wrap that arm around somebody and just say, I love you. You know that? Just, just let them know that you care. What a wonderful work that is. But we need to get back to God's work. And, and that's what he's saying there. So many people 
And even here, we find that it said that when they found these things, that she called her friends and neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me. I found the peace which I have lost. And likewise, I say to you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. So we look at that and realize that many people have lost their way. Now, what can we do about that as a child of God? We, we help them find their way. That's the, that's the key. As I said a moment ago, that our folks, even our folks are trying to help that lady find her wedding ring. Don't know whether they ever did or not. There's a lot of folks that need to find their way. And that way is Jesus Christ. So when we are revived, and that will be our goal, is to say, Lord, I want to help them find their way. I want to help them get there. You know, sometimes I think that uh, Jeanette will go to the grocery store sometimes and she will come home and, and with a lot of different stories that, you know, if I didn't have to go with her or something, but she'd come home and she said, you know, I would have been here sooner, but there was a little lady looking for something. So what she do, she leaves her buggy. Jeanette does. And she takes that little lady and she finds what she's looking for. That's cool. So, and she said, but, but I need to help her find it. Who was she? I don't know who she was. But that's the only way it needs to be with us. Leave our buggy, leave our baggage, help others find their way. And that way is through Jesus Christ. And then there'll be a lot of rejoicing in the presence of the angels. Get that. In the presence of the angels. Now, I know you didn't need this message. Okay, I understand. But God inspired me to preach this message. Who knows? He may, you know, he may want me to preach the revival. I don't know, but that's, a, that's okay. But what I'm saying is, folks, if you ever get to that point, you lose that joy. You lose the things, the spiritual values that God has given you. Get back into His Word. Get back there where you belong. Go soon by. He doesn't forsake us. Father, we praise you and thank you tonight for the privilege and the message that you've allowed me to preach. And I, I pray and trust for you that if there's anyone here tonight that need to hear this message, God, speak to their hearts. Speak to my heart, dear Lord. And, I, and, and Lord, I guess that each one of us can probably look at those and realize that we've fallen short sometimes in many ways there. So God, we ask that you'll help us to find those things that we have lost or continue blessing our church as only you can. Lord, that we will be a light for others, or that they may find their way to you, and we, that we may lead them there and help them. Lord, we praise you, just thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace, and thank you for the joy that we have of knowing that we're saved. Lord, we love you, and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.